Hey everybody, what's up? How you doing out there? I'm Valerie Strongborn, and I'm gonna tell you a way how to create your own fantasy world, how to create a game in that world, and it don't even have to necessarily be a game. You can do so much stuff with um, using OpenSim. Now, OpenSim is an open simulator. What it is is a world. It's a voxel world. It's basically a sandbox that you can create all kind of cool shapes and sounds and meshes and animations and scripts and then you put them together to create a world and uh, I know most everybody's heard of you know open sim or second life that I know but there's thousands and thousands of people that's never even heard of it and for me the goal of what I've been doing for the last two years is to try to create um, a system for open simulator that allows you to expand its capabilities and make it more into a game for people because I'm a gamer and a role player and like you know to be able to role play and things like that so that's what this whole con combat system is and uh, I've been working on it for two years now I have a pretty good bit of money invested in it a lot of money actually invested in it and um, it's it's in a working stage right now and I mean I'm not gonna blab on about my combat system that I've created before telling you you know why I created it and show you the uses of it you know um, and the reasons why I created it so now if you're the the question that I'm that you need to know is or that I need to know is if you're interested in trying have you ever wanted to you know say you've played a lot of multiplayer games online or you've played you know role-playing games or you role play on text based you know forums and things like that on the internet or whatever it may be you've played D&D &D, pen and paper D&D &D, and all that well how would you like to materialize the world that you imagine well it's possible and it's cheap and it's really you know it's really cheap it's not really a expensive thing and as far as you know now this is not um this is not intended for the intense gamer i'll tell you that now you know the gamer that demands 60 frames a second which you can get for 60 frames a second you can get great graphics out of open sim and um all that but it's not a gaming platform but it is it's kind of like its own gaming engine to me you know i've thought about tinkering with unity and unreal and all that but I've spent, <coughs> excuse me, my last, the last two years of my life working on this, and um, I guess the main reason is because um, it's for more of a lower grade gamer is what what I'm trying to get at, I guess. So, anyways, um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is this, this right here is a world I created myself now it's not completely finished or anything near that but oh let me get the um, the thing out of the way sorry the logo here okay so it's not nearly finished or anything but now I'm just gonna I'm doing this video just to give you an idea of what's possible okay now we can set our sun position this is called firestorm it's Phoenix Firestorm and it's a viewer for open sim okay and, and it's it loads these things that they call grids or sims this is a sim this whole place everything on this sim consists of prims primitives and it impacts the land and how many objects you can place in the land now for instance I have four regions here or four sims here and I can place out 60,000 primitives. Now, I'm going to start doing a few, you know, I'm going to do videos on this um, and try to get a community together of people interested in learning how to do different things, you know. But basically, you can build whatever you like to build. Everything you see here the trees, the flowers, the walls, everything is uh, built by users okay and um you see I got these little boxes and stuff out here well this is how you start 
you know start to make a sim and create it and it'll come like if you now these sims are not expensive this is four regions and I can fly up in there and show you how and this is my little town that I've made out in it now we can change the lighting you know and all that so we can change the lighting to say sunrise and it doesn't look bad people I mean um, whenever you go to I don't know if my graphics are on full high right now but now some of this content I've purchased like these Tudor houses because I didn't want to spend the time meshing this to make it um, but it's not really all that expensive and you can find freebies everywhere lots of free stuff out there for um people to make like the statue here this is free and anybody can well anybody can uh get that free and put it out on their land on their sim so now this is targeted for people who've never really even heard of second life or open sim they're both the same thing the only difference between them is that open sim is a vast community of multiple grids when I say grid I mean second life is a grid it's a world and within that world there's thousands and thousands of sims which are smaller worlds basically and that's what this is is a sim so but open sim is different like second life it only there's only one world and there's thousands of world inside that world open sim anybody can host their own world anybody can make their own world and anybody can connect to all the other worlds that are on the hyper grid or that are open grids open sim grids so now me myself I never messed with the the setting it up myself and hosting it myself I just rather pay nineteen ninety five a month for this big old piece of land and you hadn't even seen the land really this is a just a small part of it pay nineteen ninety five a month for it and build what I want to build on it and create what I want to create on it now you can see this is uh I mean your imagination is the limit you can uh there's so many beautiful sims out there and maybe we'll just jump around to some you know my sims not the greatest you know I work on it here and there and I try to fix it up but like this this is a built you know like a door frame not the best door but you can see it's a working door by touching the mouse you can open and shut it's like a big old concrete door and this is what I mean by scripting so you have lights that work you know you have sounds you can hear the sounds coming through um, you can put sounds in you can change your skies you can make the sim whatever you want it to be and as as you see here this is not a default avatar this is an avatar that was made out of mesh that was made in blender and then uploaded and it is a Star Wars avatar but you can change your avatar to look like whatever you want it to if you have a mesh avatar you know I can show you an example okay so my inventory you have a big old inventory full of all kinda you know stuff that you collect and stuff that you um, upload I'll go ahead and do um, um, force here no we'll do a Dietrich armor rig I know people know Skyrim right oh let me take this armor off detach now this don't look the best but as you can see hey it don't look too bad either and you can create your world and um, I'm gonna put another avatar on you'll know this person I'm sure Gerald of Rivia let me take this off and this is just an example of what you can do um, on open sim okay so we have Geralt there you can be male or female you can change your shape size and everything you can fly now so 
so this is a starting point for anybody that's interested in creating their story whatever they want to do there's clubs on here there's um strip clubs there's bondage clubs there's dance clubs country clubs there's colleges me myself i do the combat stuff i like fighting stuff so um we're just gonna take a tour here through my sim and it, like I said, it's not done yet. But I'll go ahead and show you how combat can be implemented in here. And this is what I've been doing for two years, is scripting and creating a combat system for this platform. <clears throat> and the waters actually looks pretty good. You know. I mean, it don't look bad at all. You can change your sunset again. We got no sunset, I think. But we can change it to midnight. So we'll change it to midnight. And look, it don't look bad. Now, I'm going to show you. This is what I've been doing. And this is how, when I say how to make, how to create your own multiplayer game. Well, it's easy. And it don't take, you know, you could spend $50, $60, you know, to get it started up and running. And, and um twenty dollars a month for the sim you know or you can host your own sim and that'd be you know um, um, hosting it on your own computer or your own server which you can do that and it's free totally free to do that but I would not recommend to do that I would recommend just going to a grid I use Catly and you can go to Catly.com and um, get make a free avatar and it'll land you in the welcome center and you can run around this world and explore it for free completely free and you'll meet people you'll see people you know you have voice on here so like games that have voice you have voice here and um, you can have conferences you can uh, take photos so um I mean it's really really crazy uh, now so now back to the the main you know idea of this video is that this is intended for people that's you know that's always wanted to create a game say or or wanted to build a role play community that can actually interact with each other you know and um, interact with 3d objects and all that just like you know a regular game except you can create it yourself you can decorate it yourself you can make your castle on the hill and everybody else have little shacks in the villages I mean there's so much you can do you can do dragons As a matter of fact I got a dragon out here and I'll cam over to it well, this dragon's flying in the air I see a shadow right there oh there he is somewhere yeah right here now this is just a a dragon that's floating around in the air but now there is animations that can make this dragon move they can make it look more real than what it does this is just for looks basically but as you can see nothing wrong with that I mean it has no life to it but like I said it's only a it's only a um, you know for decorations weapons this is what the weapons I've been using to make my game with you can see these look great swords bows daggers knives um, axes maces okay shields here's some shields over here and um this is all user created now you're saying well how could I get a hold of those well these you know if you want high quality shields and meshes like this it may cost you a few dollars to get them but they're not extremely expensive but now this is where I go to the point of you don't need none of this because that's what my system does for you and that's what con combat system does for you so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean so now now we've covered that you know you know it costs twenty dollars a month to have this huge sim you hadn't really seen the size of it but it's big you can go all the way all the way out here 
if I had my view distance, which let me fix that just so I can, you know, you have high, this is a really good graphics, um, my draw distance, so if I fix that, now you can see a difference in it, and, um, you can see the, you know, the edges and stuff, so, uh, this is a incomplete sim, though, I hadn't finished it up yet, I still, I'm still working on it, but, you can see the possibilities of of what I'm talking about and um and this is still all the same sim so there's a lot of room now <coughs> personally what I'd recommend you don't want to overdo yourself so if if you're looking at this and you're like man this looks pretty cool you know and it would be fun. Well, let me just show you real fast here how you can build something in no time at all. Now, this is how you build. I got stuff everywhere out here. <laughs> it's not even put together, but uh. So now you can build yourself, okay? You can get a build, and you can make a box. Now you can, oops, you can stretch the box can make it long and this is one primitive now you can change the texture of this so I gotta edit it and then I got a texture here now these are things you would have to learn yourself but let's go to wall just to see what kind of wall oops because I have thousands of textures that I've collected and made and stuff so change the textures um, gray terrace wall. Let's try that just to see what it looked like. Okay. So we'll drop that on there. And look here. Impressed? You have a wall. Now you can fix this, um, the graphicness of it. And it could be this texture. So let's do a, let's do a brown terrace wall. So if we can find a better looking one. That one don't look too bad, but um, what you could do is do it like this, because it's made to be smaller probably, and see it looks a lot better like that. Let's do a metal and wood wall then. Okay, now this one, this one is a texture that's meant to be one by one, so we go one by one, and look at that. So now, now what can you do with this? A lot. You can do a lot with it. And it's not limited to just this box, okay? For instance, let's make this have four walls. Well, do it like this. Do it like this. Get the features. Okay, and we're going to cut out a hole, hollow. And now you have a box. So now, this is just a quick example, but like I said, every single thing that you've seen in this video completely is made by people and avatars. They upload it, they create it, and it's in the world. And they res it out in the world. So all this that you see is made by by individuals, fountains, statues, like I've already showed you, more statues, the houses that look really good, you can go in the side of them, you can open the gates, and that's scripting, let's, come over, let's jump over here, it's got the sounds, the doors, fire, And this is all scripting and building. So you script things that you want, you know, uh, that you want to do. Okay, so now that I've kind of covered that, 
if that's enough to get you started then you can watch the video some more if not hey it's fine I just wanted to throw this video out here because I think it's a it's a it's a thing worth doing and just let your imagination you know go with it you're the creator of this world so now you'd start with a blank world that doesn't have anything but grass on it <coughs> you can terraform the land <coughs> basically making hills and things like that and everything so really I'm I can almost confidently, confidently say that there's really nothing that you can't accomplish in this program in this game in this platform scripting you can make automobiles you can make rideable um, things there's just so much there's motorcycles out there airplanes that you can fly um, you know now let's get back to the combat system this is what this is the reason why I made this video is to try to you know bring together the imaginary minds and somebody will, maybe will fumble up on this video and be like man this is exactly what I've been wanting to do and hey if one person makes it in here then that's great but um now the combat system and you'll see in just a minute you can also have NPCs non-player characters and um, we're gonna fight some using the com combat system um, the com combat system has questing crafting and all that so we're just gonna dip into the combat side real fast so this is the com combat system if you touch this with your mouse left click it it'll give you this request here and it says attached to your avatar and you hit yes and then right here you see a HUD on the bottom right screen um, and this is where you'll do your inventory now I'm not gonna go into detail about the combat system this is the only now there's other combat systems that people's made on here but there's none to the extent of this system I wanted this system to have everything magic melee ranged crafting lock picking traps questing everything you could think of to create a game with that people would need to create their own little idea of a game it could be a medieval game it could be a um, street fighter game you know like a cops and robber game it can be Star Wars which is what we're working on right now but this is the direction we're headed we're going to make Star Wars that here it is Com combat Star Wars edition you can get a lightsaber and all that stuff but anyway so we got our we got our um, master HUD is what we call it here and we're gonna equip a battle HUD and it just basically forms a GUI or a UI a user interface for you to play the game with just like all the UIs on games and um, I made these and we made them and and you attach them to your avatar and they become a UI so I'm gonna go to um, oh actually I'm gonna show you right off the bat we'll do a cleric this is a cleric battle HUD okay attach it yes 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 and you can see here that there's this little thing up in the corner well it's a hut and here's your inventory so now we're gonna fight some NPCs over here those three little red boxes out there are NPCs we're gonna fight some of those and so I need to equip a weapon so I go to heads <coughs> I'm going to quit the staff right here. So now, what's wrong with this picture? Okay. Now, no, the graphics aren't the greatest in the world. But like I said, a moderate gamer could have fun with this. You look like you're ready to fight something right there, you know. Now we're going to draw this out. you have animations to draw and sheath it okay so now 
You see this meter above my head, it's in red text. That's my health and my stamina. And I need to go in character in order to play and take damage and give damage. So I'll go in character. And then I'm just going to start. So now, this is a partial magic combat here. I like going in mouse view. So, and you can see it goes a good long ways up. And um, we're going to kill some NPCs now. We have magic over here. This is some abilities. These are uh, abilities that you cast on other players or NPCs. So, you have hands of hand of life, energy surge, saving grace, holy hands, summon other magic stones, and then your respawns. Now, this is just an overview, so I'm not going to get in depth with the combat system or anything like that. I'm just showing you the possibilities. So now we know that it's possible to create a world, starting from nothing. You have one sim or four sims or sixteen sims. For me, I started. I got four. I paid nineteen ninety five a month for the four sims, and I started by building, you know, terraforming the land, building houses and stuff like that. And that's all you do now. Like I said, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of freebies that you can get that you just have to travel to another grid, and we're gonna do that in just a minute. We're gonna travel to another grid, and I'll try to find a grid that's pretty awesome that we can go look at but um <coughs> I'm just gonna show you this combat system real fast and we'll get to that so these three boxes over here are NPCs now you can set these a transparent and uh, so that the other players couldn't see them whenever they was walking down this path that you made or whatever but just for the sake of this video you know they're there and they're gonna spawn out on me and I'm gonna try to fight them I will use some of the magic here in just a second but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go in the mouse view and be ready to fight these guys. So, when I run up here, we should get something. Okay, so there we go. Now you see, sorry about the sound, it's a little overriding. Now you can do this with uh, other players, so if that was another player, they wouldn't just be standing there. Now the NPCs are a little dumb, but and you get experience points, and you level up and everything with, with this system. So now let me show you a magic spell. So now that they're over there, and they're dumb, and they don't know to come to me look at them dummies <laughs> okay we're gonna do a magic stone on them magic stones pick a target oh did you see that a stone fell off hit them and took a lot of damage off of them look they're almost dead okay now we're gonna do um Well, these are, this is a cleric, so it's not really battle uh, damage spells. But this um, Holy Hands does some damage. It grabs them and holds them, so we'll do the Holy Hands. Look at this. A hand comes out, grabs them, and it damages them and holds them there, though, so they can't get you. Now, you got to think of this as uh, um, playing against other players, you know, because that's what you're going to want to do mostly. I mean, the NPCs are fun. But they're basically there for players that there's nobody there to play with, then they can level up. You see, I earned conk coins and experience points for killing him. And sorry for the overpowered sound effects. But. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go into depth of the combat system to that extent. I'm just trying to show what's possible, you know, with the system and with with Open Sim. It's really a way to try to get people to try out Open Sim and then also for the creative minds that want to create their own 
combat system. So that's what this video is for. All right. So now we're gonna. Well, we can try. We'll just do another. We'll do another spellcaster real quick. So I'm gonna detach my battle HUD, and I'm gonna reattach another one. This is your equipment. You can see it down here. You can't see it great right now because the icons are so small. But this is a wizard HUD. And we have a knight hood, we have a courtesan hood, we have an archer, an acrobat, a thief, and other huds. So, <coughs> okay, now this is a more powerful battle hud because it's more. It's like a a wizard is a DPS class, so they're going to do a lot more damage, which you'll see. I'll probably be able to take these guys out in no time at all. I'm going to get them all out here on me. Come on. Come on. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, so. Oh, see. I see. You have to be in character. To always. You always have to be in character to spawn things, to be interactive with things. Come on. Here they come. Now I'm going to run from them. I can come out and see they they don't even they done lost my trail already. I'm gonna do this flame wall on one of them. And you can see it really hurts. We're gonna do fire rain. Now you're gonna see fire come out the sky. And it's damaging them. Okay, and then we'll do um, Call Storm. It causes a storm. Now, if you go into the storm, it's going to take life from you. Because it's lightning going around everywhere. So you can see that I'm taking damage now. But I can do protective flames upon myself. And it'll heal me. Now I like being in mouse view. And you can see I'm already healed all the way up. Mouse view is where I like to play at. There's one more. One more alive over there. Which he's probably going to die. I'm going to try to do sinkhole on him. You get a little closer. Uh oh. I'm going to have to take some damage to get to him. Okay, yeah, we'll get him right there. Sink oh, he already died. <laughs> As you can see, he's sinking into a hole over there, though. And he's dead. So, now, this is some of the possibilities of Open Simulator. Now you can Google. There's tons of <coughs> tons of videos out there about Open Sim, the Hypergrid, Second Life, all that, right? And you can look at all the different amazing things that you can do in this world. And then, you know, you can um, if you if you want to create you a gaming world, or I, I invite people that don't even want to do the game inside of. It, if you just want to come and build your own world it's a great place to do it and it's uh now one thing i'll say is second life okay that's like the mother of grids okay but it's a closed grid that means when you join second life you can't go to any of these other grids you can't come visit me here you can't come visit anybody else now yes the population is a lot more there up in the millions but uh it's it's gradually declining and we have open sim now now open sim came about and targeted grid to grid or world to world instead of being a closed world like second life with the open grid you can go to everywhere so you can so all the grids connect so you can visit tons of different places you know and um and the the land is a lot cheaper the cost, okay, like for Second Life, if you rented or bought a sim, that's one, let me show you the map here, my map, okay. 
this is the map of my four sims. Here's one, this square. Here's one that's a square. You know, you can see one, one, two, three, four sims. Okay. In Second Life, if you get one sim right here, it costs you three hundred seventy-five dollars to get that sim, and then it costs you no wait, actually it costs you twelve hundred dollars to get that sim. And then three seventy five a month to keep that sim. <clears throat> Open sim, Kitely, Digi Worlds, Great Canadian Grid, OS Grid, all these grids that are open open sim, they charge you literally nothing. I pay nineteen ninety five for all four of these sims, and I get sixty thousand prims, which is a lot of um, stuff. All this stuff you see out here. Let me just show you here about land okay so let's just see how much of my 60,000 I've used and I've had this sim for over a year okay optics so partial land capacity is 59,787 the region um, and I've got 5,000, I've got 9,000 prims, basically 9,928 prims out of 60,000 used. So you can make this world way, way, way more extensive than what you see right here. And this is not even extensive at all. <coughs> now what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to go to another grid. All right. And if you do want to know about the combat system, then this channel is the place to be because this is a channel dedicated to the work of my combat system. But I wanted to do a video of, you know, the open sim in general and the open grid. So to go to, um, to go to, um, we're going to go visit somewhere, and I'm going to do this in a web page on the side, but you can do this also. You can go to OpenSimWorld.com. Okay? I'll write it out here. OpenSimWorld.com. Um, and I'll put it in the description, but uh, you can go there, and there's all kind of worlds that's made like this. This is a grid, this is a sim or a region, and it's on the grid named Kitely. Okay, so we're going to go to Open Sim World. Oh, wait, let me see them. OpenSimWorld.com. And we're just going to find a really nice place to go real fast. So, um,. We'll go to, here's another fantasy world, just to, you know. We'll see how, oops, okay. Now, sometimes it is a little tricky moving in between the grids, but... Okay, there we go. So now we're leaving Kitely Grid. And we're going to a total different grid. There's hundreds of hundreds of grids. And then inside each one of those grids, there's thousands of sims or regions. You can do your wind and everything on these sims. So hopefully we found a good sim. It looks pretty good so far. I can set my... um world to something more appealing so we'll do it um, sunset I like sunset I don't have my graphics on completely high and like I said it'll take a minute to res this stuff in and that's what we call it is resing it's you know loading into your viewer but now I'm just going to tour around here because I'm sure we can find some awesome stuff that um Like these dragons.
<clears throat> Got a little walkway here. A nice little fountain. That's a pretty cool looking fountain with the metal look to it. And all this stuff will take a while to resin, but I think this is a shadow of this tree or whatever, and that's why it's not resed yet, and it looks like that. So we'll just give it a minute. Yeah, see. Now it's coming in there. So I'm just going to give this a few minutes to res. Because it takes, a, sometimes it takes a while. Especially, you know, if you ain't got a fast computer, which my computer is pretty fast. And a good connection. But I'm just going to sit right here for a minute. And I will be right back. Alright, so I'm back and seems like there's a few things that may still need to res in a little bit, but now as you can see this was created by a user, a player or an avatar that was on that's on this grid. We're gonna still let this res in more. And that's what I'm trying to show off in this video. The things that people create sometimes really is astonishing like um, you know you can use blender to make your own models you can use uh, ZBrush 3d max you know you can import audio bv8 animation files everything to make whatever you want to make and me I've decided to make the combat system that which includes mesh animation sound scripting and all but <clears throat> and uh, uh, that's another thing scripting well I'm gonna fall flat uh, scripting is used to do things like what you see here um, this water okay you see how the water's animated it's bubbling and things that's a script in there that's making that do that and um, this water here that's coming down that's a script that does that doors um, moving objects of um, torches, lights, doors, you know, anything you think of, um, vehicles, robots, it's all scripts. And yes, you're going to run on to some places that don't have the very best looking things. Like, okay, let's look at this torch. Now, I'm not downgrading this torch, but the fire looks, you know, not all that great, but it still looks decent. Now this is all the work of the scripter or the person that made that. Because I can show you fire, you know, on an object in here that looks so real that you can't even tell the difference. Okay, this gate, well, but um, that's what I'm saying. So like, um, you can hear the sounds and all that stuff. <clears throat> I mean, just look at what people's done though with this. Now, if you if you just look at this, what we're doing here, walking through, this looks like a game, right? Now, if the textures was all resed in, which they're not, it looks like a game, and that's what it is. So you know, so anyways, that's the. <clears throat> that's the whole purpose of this, purpose of this video is to um to show people what what they can actually accomplish and for no money like it's not even that expensive and you can have your own medieval town your own city your own airport the list goes on and on and on they have um like I said earlier they have colleges here where they actually teach people 
and they have schools on here where they demonstrate you know things physics are on here where you can drop a physical ball and push it you know you can roll a ball down a tube I mean it's got it all so we're just going to take a look so I'm about to end this video I just wanted to put this out there now if you're interested in the combat side of things and I may do other videos about open sim and stuff like that you can subscribe and like the channel and this is the channel for my combat system so you can get all the new news and information you want about it I think I have like 13 videos showing different aspects of the combat system but hopefully this was informational and um, to people out there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream everybody have a good night and thanks for watching see you later